some people complain to me and they say, isn't the Bible really sexist? Doesn't it really put women down? And at one level, you can see why that's right. Uh, of all of the characters who are named in the Bible, uh, under 5% of the named characters in the Bible are women. So men are really very uh, highly represented and women seem to be underrepresented. And so people say, wouldn't it be a lot better if you know everything was more equal? And many of those people are coming from a secular perspective where they seem to think that secularism uh, delivers a better uh, view of women. And what I'd say is no, secularism actually has one of the lowest opinions of women of any worldview that I know, because many secularists believe that we simply result from various uh, material uh, and chemical interactions, and women only have the value that people assign to them, because value basically comes from people assigning uh, value socially. And what that means is that a woman is simply a random collection of chemicals, and that's her ultimate significance. And it, what it means is that older women who seem to, you know, old people who seem to have nothing to contribute to society aren't valued to, by society. And Christianity says every woman is in the image of God and is therefore of infinite value. So I'd say don't be tricked by a superficial look at Christianity and say because there is an equal representation of women in every way therefore Christianity has a lower view of women. I'd want to say uh, look uh, I have seen so many Christian men treat their wives with such honour. I saw that um, uh, in my own parents. Um, and I think that I know uh, Christians who have such a high view of every woman on the planet precisely because they believe that her value is derived from an infinitely valuable God. And to me, that gives everyone a huge dignity. And the other thing that uh, Christians believe is that, you know, God has made male and female and they're different. Now, I don't want to get into stereotyping how they're different. Christians don't need to be captivated by stereotypes. And the Bible doesn't really go down the stereotyping line at all. But what it does is it creates a space for there to be difference. And what I see much secularism doing today is simply flattening out that difference and tying itself in, in quite a few knots in doing so. So at one level, people want to say uh, men and women should be treated exactly the same, but then uh, sometimes that sameness doesn't look uh, quite right because what, what that sameness of treatment is doing is, uh, of course, there is an asymmetry when it comes on to issues like rape or objectification of the female body um, uh, you know, in images and, 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 and so on. So if you just let society run its own course in a secular way, I don't think that it will lead to better uh, treatment of uh, women uh, because if you put a woman's testimony against a man's testimony uh, in a rape case and we say that these are both equal every time, you will never get uh, the true number of men who commit rape convicted. Uh, and so uh, there are there are some inherent contradictions. Um, we, we have a lot of people trafficking going on today, and a lot of that is related to the sex trade. We have a huge uh, porn industry, which is objectifying the, uh, the female body, and which is uh, leading to the degrading of women. It's one of the biggest things going on in the internet. Now, obviously, these are... Um, Many of these stories are, at a personal level, on the quiet. You don't necessarily know how people's lives are being ruined. But I think what's happening is that um, a secular account of um, equality meaning sameness between men and women is actually promising to deliver a lot for women today, promising to deliver a freedom, but actually isn't delivering it and never will.